chapter 21. Blade watched as the lodge's rooftop sprinkler sprayed weakly. We're not getting enough water on the lodge, he yelled to Andre. Reroute the main water line to the roof sprinkler, Andre refused. The firefighters need that water to make her tartan. Kate instruct, interrupted him. How do you know that? I'm the concierge. It's my job to know every... I don't care, Kate shouted. You work for me. Now, are you going to do it or do I have to do it myself? Andre glared at him with defiance. Seconds later, Cade leaned on the lever with all his might until he finally pushed it into position. With the increased water pressure, the rooftop sprinklers drenched everything in the lodge. By the exit, a massive traffic, traffic jam had formed as hundreds of panicked cars and RVs packed the only route out of the park. Making matters worse was the fact that the exit road was very narrow, with only one lane going in each direction. The raging fire burned on either side of it. The cinders rained down, hissing and popping, as they sent sparks all over the road. Engine Pulaski sprayed water from his nozzle onto the wind, trying his best to keep the black fire from reaching the exit. Old Jammer and the Secretary of the Interior continued to keep guests quiet and organized. Don't worry, said old Jammer. We're going to get everyone out. Just keep moving and stay calm. The train appeared chugging down the tracks toward the exit. Then suddenly, whoosh, a gust of wind blew a wall of flames over the ridge and sent burning debris right in front of the exit tunnel. The train slammed on its brakes and sparks flew as it came to a screeching stop. But the tunnel blocked and the train was stuck. Cars and RVs gazed up at the fire, terrified. Then things got even worse. A group of tall trees burst into flames, and one of them was lifted right from its roots, and it began to fall over. The giant flaming pine tumbled down the ridge, breaking, bringing an avalanche of fire and rock with it. Pulaski looked up to see old Jammer and the Secretary of Inferior, Interior directly underneath in the path of the object. Watch out, he yelled, pushing them out of the way. Smash the trees and <laughs> into the <laughs> The secretary and old jammer had escaped unharmed, but the nozzle on Pulaski's pump was broken. He could no longer fight the fire. We're going to have to find another way out, said the secretary. That's the problem, Mr. Secretary, said old jammer with gravity. There is no other way out. Back at the air attack base, the emergency siren blared. Wildfire jumped the main exit road and now it's blocked, said Pat. I know it's after sunset, but you're in command, Dipper said, looking at Windlifter. It's your call. Windlifter looked up at the sky and then glanced at Dipper. Maru shouted, there's not much time. If you're going to go, you better go now. And we'll need every plane we've got, said Dusty. Load up, Windlifter said. Everyone quit quickly for to go out and fight the terrible fire. Maru hooked up the hoses and they puffed to life as they inflated with retarders. The smoke jumpers loaded into cabins. sadly deflated. He twisted the valve on the main pump, on the main pipe, and squeezed the trigger on the tank's filling hose, but nothing came out. He checked the gauge on the main tank. There's no water pressure, he said Without water, he couldn't feel the team's tweets with his targets. Main line must have burst the main No. Cad must have turned on the sprinklers back at the lodge. 
Jai said. That's why the main line is intercepted. Hey, Jack, shouted Dipper. What does that light look like? Negative. No visibility. Blocked in by the fire and smoke. It's going to make you What could they do? All we have left is what's in our teams. Let's make them jump, said the director. Then you can draw. Everyone go over the limit and survive. Ready? 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 As the team soared over the burning mountain, Dusty glanced at his coat shape. Below, deer tractor stands the other way. the main exit road, Old Jammer was still working hard to keep the crowd calm. Don't panic. Everybody will be all right, he said. The train, now surrounded by flames, blew his whistle, begging for help. The passengers looked out the window in fear as they watched the flames rise around them. Finally, the team approached.
Wow, look at that. Who are you? Who am I? I'm Dusty. Patch's voice came over the radio. Windlifter, do you copy? Go ahead, Patch, said Windlifter. We've got two old RVs trapped in Argonne Canyon, Patch reported. Dusty flew up alongside Windlifter. That's Harvey and Winnie, he said. Well, they were looking for their, where they had their first kiss. Argonne Canyon, that's the other side of the park, said Windlifter. Dusty had to help them. He had he told Windlifter. <laughs> them off. Follow. Okay. <laughs>